Counting down to Monday's total solar eclipse, the city of Dallas has just laid out its plans for the big day. Dallas, the largest city in the path of totality, right now expecting a 35% increase in the population. That's about 400,000 people, y'all. The hotels in downtown Dallas report a 99% sold out rate between April 5th and the 9th. We got meteorologist Mario Ruiz now to hear to talk about what happens with the weather when it gets dark. You know, we eclipse crazy in here right now. Absolutely. Okay, so think about it. We don't see the sun for close to four minutes. So temperature obviously dropping, okay. right? Uh, but that's going to vary depending on the cloud cover of the day, which you know, we've been talking about the cloud cover. So let me show you here, uh, you know, temperatures are expected to drop whenever we don't see the sun. It happens naturally at night, so it'll happen naturally during the eclipse, but it's going to really depend on the weather. Uh, the biggest drop would actually occur if we had clear skies, low humidity and light winds. That would be an eight degree temperature drop, but that's not what we're expecting. If it's cloudy, windy and humid, it could only drop about one degree, and this is because cloud cover acts as a blanket to help keep the heat from escaping into space, so it keeps all of that heat kind bottled up at the surface. So here's what we're expecting in the forecast. I'm showing you Monday very early. This is late Sunday into Monday. Here's the path of totality. Here's CFW. The closer you are to this middle line, the longer you are in totality. Look at what happens to the cloud cover. Good thing is that the weekend rain will be out well in advance, but as the day goes on, we notice that cloud cover come in and it looks like we'll see at least high clouds. It will mainly stay dry, but we could see rain to the southeast. So areas in central and southeast Texas will be seeing this rain. The cloud cover does look like it increases as the day goes on. The big question right now is what kind of cloud cover we can still see the eclipse if we see high thin clouds. You know, you can generally see through those clouds. They're very um, clear. Now the low clouds, those are the cumulus clouds, the puffy clouds. If we see more of that, it will make it a bit difficult. Either way, expect it to get dark and expect temperatures to be somewhere in the 70s. Of course, we'll fine tune the forecast in the days to come, Mark. Uh, keep my fingers crossed, Mario. Me too. Hey.